Hello there and welcome to this video where we are going to be looking at uh, CSV files and we're going to be looking at how to add information into CSV files. If you've not watched the previous videos about reading information from CSV files, uh, part one and part two, I suggest you pause this video, go have a look at those and then come back and carry on with this video. So looking back at the previous uh, pieces of code that we've looked at, uh, this section of code here should not be new to you at all. The only thing we've added are these two lines of code here. So when this function gets run, it will then say whatever happens, if something's found or if something's not found, it will print going back to the menu and load up the menu function, which brings us quite nicely onto the menu function down here. Uh, when the program gets run, as you can see from here from this menu uh, function here, when this program gets run, what it's going to do is it's going to run this menu function here. It's going to say print A to add runner or V to view runner. Uh, it's going to create a variable called choice and they're going to type it in. If they press A, we're going to execute these lines of code here. So name equals input enter their first name, surname equals input enter their surname, and then time equals input enter their time in HHMM SS format, so hours, minutes, and seconds format. We're then going to run this line of code here, which is called add runner, name, surname, and time. So we're going to take these three variables here that the user's entered in and pass them into this function here. Um, we've created a variable here called data which just stores everything in case we need to do it and use anything with it later. Hint, hint, hint. Um, we've got three lines here just to make sure that we're going to get the right information printed in. That's really for error checking to make sure information being put in correct. This file here, we're opening, we're going to be using the marathon.csv file again, but instead of having R here, we're going to use A, and A means append. So whatever gets put on gets added to the next line in the file. We're then going to write to the file name, surname, and time, and you can see between each of those, we've added a comma in, and then we've got this slash n at the end, which is going to put it then onto a new line. We're going to close the file and then go back to the menu system. So let's see this in action. If we run this code and bring this over here, we first of all want to view runners uh, and let's go for good old Dennis and we can get Dennis's information. This is going back to the menu. So then we get the option again of uh, A for adding a runner or V view through. So let's add a runner uh, and I'm going to add myself to it and I'm going to enter my amazing marathon time of 55 hours, 44 minutes and 33 seconds. Hopefully I can do it a little bit faster than that, otherwise I might just drive it. I press enter, the information that's being put in appears here, but you can see nothing's happened here. If we close the file and then reopen it, you can see it's been added to the bottom. So again, if we close it again, we're going to add um, another one. We are going to add a stu uh, someone else. We are going to be adding someone called Harvey and we're going to call them Robloxian and they're going to have done it in 10 hours, 44 minutes and uh, 56 seconds. Sorry about that Harvey Robloxian. And again, if we go back to here and we have a look, there we go. Harvey Robloxian ran his marathon in 10 hours, 44 minutes, 56 seconds. With the code that we've got here, this idea of having this function here, it enables us just to really briefly and quickly add it like that because it keeps everything within that menu. We can think about that adding another function later on called edit runner, for example. There's loads of different things that you can do. With this code again, you can definitely improve this menu system here. So for example, you could add an else for if they press the number five or if they do anything else, you might want to include a little bit of race system exit so it can exit the program as well. I hope this video has been helpful for you. Feel free to like, comment and subscribe. Uh, any problems, let me know and see you in another video. Goodbye.